So that's week three flower. And then I'm gonna do a water changeover. Full water changeover on the hydroponics. And I'll show you guys how it's done. Yeah, here I go. So this is the nutrients that we're using. The uh, General Hydroponics, the uh, Bloom 487. I've been using it for like probably a few months now. It works really good. And I mix it with these, the uh, Big Bud and the Bud Candy. And I also have Overdrive for the last two weeks of flower. So I always bring my PPMs up to like right around third week of flower. I'm at like almost a thousand PPMs. So I'll bring this one up to like 700, 750. You usually always add just a spoonful and then go from there. I usually have to add like three spoonfuls at this stage. Check the PPM real quick. So this is the PPM reader. Tells you how much food you've added. So right now we're at like 627, 630. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. Try and bring it up to that 700, 800 range, 750, 800. I always add a little bit less just so I don't risk going over. Because then you're just wasting nutrients because you gotta dump some water, some of the water and add fresh water. Make sure you give it a really good stir. You wanna make sure none of that fucking nutrients is sinking down to the bottom, sitting on the bottom of your pail. So now you see we're sitting right around 800. And that's about perfect for me. And then I'll start adding the added, the other ads, the Bud Candy and the Big Bud, which will also bring your, uh, your PPM up as well. You gotta keep that in mind, that when you're using these, this as your base, pretty much. You wanna make sure you're not adding like a thousand PPMs. Just make sure if you want it at a thousand that you're putting like 800 of this and then by the time you are finished adding these, it'll bring it up to like a thousand PPMs. So you just wanna be careful you're not putting too much nutrients in your water and causing root rot or browning on the roots. All right, so now we're adding the bud candy in. And I always give it a, a quick shake just to make sure that nothing's sitting at the bottom. But I add, so I'm adding eight milliliters per gallon. 
and there's five gallons in there but it's probably only about four and a, four gallons so i'm only gonna add probably like half of what it's saying so i'll probably only add like maybe 20 mil 20 milliliters not what it's saying 30 or 40. about there that's a rate about eight so i'll go ahead and pour that in and i'll pour another one in there and i'll actually just bring this one right about 10 like a little bit over right out there Now I'll go ahead and give it a little stir before I add the big bud. I always find too, you don't want to let your water sit still for too long or else a lot of stuff will like little sand stuff will start to sit at the bottom from the nutrients not sure exactly what's called but i always check the ppm too after i add each one just to double check it didn't fluctuate too much before i add the other one yeah so you'll see now we're at about 9 40 we were only at about 800 and so now when i add my next one the big bud it'll bring it right around above a thousand probably right around like a thousand fifty maybe a thousand one hundred but that's all right because we've been running a thousand last cycle so it's all right if you keep going up you just really don't want to go down or else your plants will start to really struggle on the 10 day if you're doing 10 day cycles so you're changing your waters every 10 days it'll really start to, to show signs of nutrients deficiencies because there's no nutrients left in the water so this is the big bud bud candy that i just added and so now i'll add the big bud all right so this is the big bud and it's pretty much the same as this the bud candy that for the uh how much we'll be using it's just eight milliliters per gallon and again there's four gallons about there so we'll just add about 20 20 milliliters just to be safe stuff is really weird to get out so I have to use a syringe this stuff is like a uh like an orangey kind of color. The bud candy's clear. So that's about 10 milliliters. I'll add that in. I'll go ahead and add another 10 milliliters.
Again, I always go a little bit over. I'll go ahead and add that. Give this a stir real quick. Oh yeah, and you also want to make sure the water in your bot in your bucket is uh, warm. You don't want cold water at all. So if you can't get warm water from your basement or if you're in the basement, I recommend using your bathtub or something to fill it up because you'll shock the shit out of your plants, potentially kill them. Now you'll see we're going right about to a thousand. There you go. We're at a thousand five. Thousand one. So after it it goes over a thousand, the middle number acts as like a so like if you're at like a thousand 100 the middle number when it goes over a thousand will be the pretty much show you if it's at 11 it's at 1100 but it won't show the whole number it'll only show like 100 three three numbers now i think i'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more a little bit more bud can big bud just because I want to get that PPM right about it's a little bit over a thousand so you can add both either or more of each that's why I always go less than what it's saying so that I can add more if I need to and not have to worry about burning the shit out of my plants. So now I can just add a little bit more of each until I get to what I want my PPM to be. I'll put like another five milliliters. I'll give another stir and check the PPM again. This is a very time consuming process, especially if you have like five or six plants, depending where you live, and you're allowed to grow. We're in Canada, so we're allowed to grow four. This is only one plant. It probably takes about 20, 25 minutes. So imagine if you have like five or six or... So now we're, in, we're, in, we're now at 1,030. And so when that middle one gets to one, one, four, one, one, zero, that would make it 1,100.
All right, so now we're gonna check the uh, pH. So you always gotta make sure you gotta do the pH, it's the most important part. I always do it before I put the boat, like the air, air, the air in. But I usually comes around like six to six point one, and I usually have to add like about five milliliters of pH down to get it to 5.8 right that's where I love putting my pH veg I like bringing it down to 5.5 but flour 5.8 and then I bring it up to like 6.2 6.3 and so I always just drop a little bit in with this and then I'll check the pH stir it check the pH because you really don't want to go really far down. Like if you bring your pH down to like 5, and then you're having to bring it up, it's not the best for your for the, the water. Because then you're just adding and taking more things. It just fluctuates it. And sometimes it's different. The water's different because I'm getting... We're taking it from the city. So... I really guess it depends on like how they're treating their water but like some days I'll have to add a lot of pH down and some other days like I only have to add three drops like today so you just want to make sure that you're not if you're using the city water you're not just guessing it every time because it's you did it one time so it's at 5.9 right now probably a little hard to see I'm gonna add a little bit more two more drops There you go, 5.8. So now I'm going to go and grab the bucket the plant's sitting in and I'll wash it and I'll show you how I change it over. Alright, so now I got to lift this up and uh, put it onto here so I can wash out this bucket and get it ready for put the, the new nutrients in it and it'll be ready to go for another 10 days so all you do is all you gotta do is just lift, lift this up And so now you can see the water. It's but you can see the bottom, but you can't see the bottom in the new bucket. And that's how you know your nutrients are getting very low. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna turn off the air and go and clean the bucket and the uh, air stone. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so now we're dumping it and uh, you'll see the water is very clear compared to when we just add the nutrients. And so now this is the air stone, and I always just give it, I always just run water, just give it a quick rinse. Just make sure you get all like, the nutrients and like, anything that's really sitting on it maybe. Sometimes blow water or blow air through the hole too. Just 
get anything that's maybe sitting in it. Nothing. So now I'll just use a rag and I'll wipe down the bottom. We can like see grime that sits at the grows on the bottom. So you just gotta make sure you scrub all that away. Get your bucket nice and clean. And also, if anyone knows in the comments how to get my roots, uh, the top of my roots, whiter, because I find the roots that are sitting in the water, they like the top of them get brown, but the bottom of the roots and everything are a lot cleaner. You want to make sure you give it a really good clean because this is where your roots are growing at, right? You don't want algae and stuff growing inside of the water. Also, if light gets into your buckets and your roots, that'll also grow algae a lot faster, I've heard. I haven't had that problem yet. So we use the uh, those stones. So yeah, now you can see it's a lot cleaner. So now I'm putting the uh, air hose, putting it back through the hole to attach it to this the air stone. Just like that, and I always just put it facing up. Some people have it facing like that. But I always just try and put it straight in the middle. Now we're just checking the pH for the last time just to make sure it's at 5.8. It's probably at 5.9 now. Because it's really mixing it up now. The air running through it. First thing at 5.9, so I'll add you know, two more drops. Give it a few seconds to mix in. You might not think the one diff the, from 0.9 to 0.8 makes a difference, but it actually makes a massive difference. I find 5.8 is really that sweet spot. So this will bring it right around low 8, 5.8, probably close to 5.7. Now we're just going to give her a little stir. 
Okay, see we're sitting at 5.8. So that's perfect. Now we'll put it back in the, uh, the roots back inside the bucket and we'll be good to go. So yeah, it's good. As you can see, the roots, plant's nice and happy back in the water. So yeah, I topped mine uh, very early. And so now she's just going. These ones are massive. Pretty big for an indoor plant. So this is week three. And this is my plan. Running with the Mars Hydro. Yeah, let me know if you guys want weekly updates.